So with traditional public key cryptography, you generate a private public key pair. You give out the, the public key and share it with people and they can encrypt data to you. And then you save the private key for yourself so that you can decrypt that data. The problem with this is that if the private key is leaked, all of that data needs to be re-encrypted. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, you know, a big problem. If you've got data out there that you can't easily get to to re-encrypt, it's like you're, you're kind of in, in trouble and there's no, there, you know, and then anything new, you need to make sure everybody gets your new Right, everything key. old has to be re-encrypted, everything new has to come from this new key. It's just hard to replace everything that you have out there with something new. Right. Um, luckily, we've got some advantages in our public key crypto system. And we're, we're able to do this because our crypto system isn't just a regular straight up public key crypto system. We have transformed crypt cryptography, which allows us to create groups and add users to groups and add multiple devices to users. So we've got this process that allows someone to encrypt to a public key, and then we can do a transformation process, and we've got a server to do that. And as part of that, we've developed a way so that we can actually do what we call private key rotation. So you generate a public private key pair, and this is elliptic curve public key cryptography. Um, so it's an algorithm that allows us to associate those two numbers together, and they're just big numbers. And it works very similarly, but at the time when you decide that you want to change the private key, you can make a change to the private key, and the key is actually not just a single number in our system. There are a pair of numbers. The user has that private key as they would in a traditional pu public key crypto system that they need to keep secret. The server has a, another private key that it keeps secret that goes together with that one, and we use that in our transformation process, and it ha those two have to go together to make the transformation work properly. But um, one person knowing their piece of the private key can't figure out what the other private piece of the private key is, even if they know the public key. So they're, two, they're separated out, and we are able to change that private key in such a way that the public key doesn't change at all. So, so this fixes the problem where if your private key gets leaked, you have to generate a whole new key pair. Right. You can basically throw your private key. You can't throw your private key away. You generate a new private key to replace it, and you tell our server, hey, we're, ch we're changing our private key by this amount. Mm -hmm. The server changes change its it. private key by an offsetting amount, and the nice thing about that is the public key stays the same. Mm -hmm. So you don't have that problem where you know all of this data that was encrypted to that public key is actually no longer usable or... Right. It's stuck there and you can't get rid of it. You know, the, the fact that you change those two pieces of the private key means that old private key that maybe got leaked isn't good isn't anymore. usable anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, you it, don't have to re-encrypt anything. You can just keep encrypting to the same public key. Right. You don't have to reshare your information. You don't have to try to find that friend that you sent that public key <laughs> to that you lost their email address. It's like, no, you, everything still works. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty handy property, I yeah. think, for a public key system. It, it fixes some case. problems. Yeah. Are there other use cases for this? There are. You know, the, um, the, the ability to handle a, a leak is a, definitely probably the biggest advantage. But in a system like this where we allow you to add users to groups, um, you know, if you think about a, a corporation that's using this and they've got a bunch of their employees and they're adding them to this system and you've got an administrator that's doing onboarding, somebody new gets hired, they want to create, they want to get them into the system, they want to decide which groups they're going to belong to. It's not super convenient to have to wait until the user generates a key pair mm -hmm. and then after they do that, then you go back in and, and can create the groups and add them to the groups. With our system, it's possible for the administrator to generate a key pair for you like if I was an administrator, I could generate a key pair for you, which is obviously not ideal. The whole right. point is that you you I have your be the own only keys. One who knows my keys? Right. But I can generate the key pair, and then when you're ready, you can rotate the private key. So the thing that I gave you to start with, that maybe I wrote down on a card that you forgot to throw away and left on your desk, 
Um, that thing doesn't matter anymore. You have the private key that is yours right. now, but I had your public key that didn't change, and I could go put that into all of these groups. And so it, it so streamlines that. You can encrypt things to me before I've even taken control of my account. And then right. I can take control and know that no one else can decrypt these things. Exactly. Yeah. It, and and, and it, de it, you know, it decouples those events so right. that they can happen asynchronously whenever. Another nice use case is just key rotation. In cryptography, it's pretty good hygiene to expect that, you know, there's a possibility that somehow your key could be breached or compromised in some way. And so periodically you should generate a new key. Right. Well, with traditional public key crypto, you, that means the same thing as if you got a compromise. Yeah. You have to kind of start over, re-encrypt all of this data. With private key rotation, you could every year rotate your private key. And so the concern that that, that might have gotten compromised no longer matters sure. and you don't have to re-encrypt all your data. Public key stays the same, private key is brand new. Yeah, and this is a uh, something that we think is pretty unique to our system and, and because we have this transform cryptography server, it, it allows us to do that and it would be, we don't know of any way that someone can do this in a traditional public key crypto system. Awesome. All right, well thanks Craig, this has been Fun. It's, you know, I love talking about our geeky technology, so.